Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First, I want to thank uh, my colleague, Representative James, for introducing a much needed review of our relationship with South Africa. I agree with him. The findings in this bill lay out the many concerning acts committed by the government of South Africa, including a day after Hamas's October 7th attack on Israel, the ANC's national spokesperson said, I quote, the decision by Palestinians to respond to the brutality of the settler Israel apartheid regime is unsurprising, unquote. On October 22nd, 2023, South Africa's foreign minister visited with President Raisi of Iran, who is effectively funding terrorist proxy groups that are attacking, attacking American and international vessels and other property, assisting the evasion of sanctions by multiple Russian vessels and cooperating with the CCP on numerous fronts, including state-linked tech firms and China's Belt and Road Initiative. This bill, by Mr. James, even states outright, as a sense of Congress, that South Africa's foreign policy has, and I quote, long ceased to reflect its stated stance of non-alignment and now directly favors the PRC, the Russian Federation, and Hamas, a known proxy of Iran, and thereby undermines the United States national security and foreign policy interest, unquote. Why then must we continue to send money to a country that clearly hates our allies and consorts with our en enemies? More simply put, as often said in Washington, D.C., why do we have to pay our enemies when they can hate us for free? According to the U.S. government's foreign assistance dashboard in FY23, the U.S. government gave over $281 million to South Africa through USAID state and other agencies. This amendment adds a section to the end of the bill that amends the Foreign Assistance Act of 1961 to prohibit funding for any assistance to South Africa until one year after the president submits an unclassified determination required by this very bill that South Africa has not engaged in activities that undermine the United States national security or foreign policy interest. Again, the gentlelady from California said, well, why should we punish the people of South Africa who don't agree with their government? And I would say, why should we punish our constituents, our bosses, our taxpayers by sending their hard-earned money to countries that hate us and work against our very interests? This bill makes it clear. This government is not deserving of our taxpayers' hard-earned money, especially after a history of actions that run counter directly counter to America's interest and our national security. I urge support of the amendment. I thank the gentleman for offering the bill, and I yield the balance.